uh, why moral do you, system. Why do you think it's not in your best interest to have stuff stolen from you or to be thrown off the stage? Why is it not in my best interest? Yeah. No, no, you know, you don't, you don't get to think, oh, that's self-evident. It's like nothing self-evident to the skeptic. Let's keep that in mind. Oh. Well, so... Because uh, if we're going to get skeptical here, we might so, as well go all the way so, to the bottom so for, for dictating what's good for us. No, because if you chop off my head, that is clearly not good for me. And it doesn't matter whether it was an act of free will or if it was it's my clearly, lawnmower. It's clearly not good for you because you think you're valuable and worth preserving. Yes. Okay, that's the issue. Why do you think you're valuable and worth preserving? Because I am the descendants of people who thought they were valuable and worth dis... Did he really just say that? Monkey value. Who thought they were valuable and worth, dis worth preserving and the ones who didn't think that have killed themselves. But this is not a statement about... <laughs> This is not a statement about intrinsic value. I, I don't know. Yes, yes, I think no, it is. No, it's okay. not they were valuable. What? Did Matt really just say that I'm a valuable because I'm the descendant of people who saw themselves as valuable? <laughs> Literally, like, I thought Jordan's arguments were bad in the first about the, the LSD stuff. That was one of the dumbest arguments I've ever... Imagine appealing to the fact that your like lineage because monkey value right monkey have value i have value because monkey value <laughs> right well, and worth just worth preserving and the ones who didn't pure, think that pure it bullshit matt you just lost okay why monkey as human beings we're uncomfortable with saying i don't know this is something i'm trying to teach people to be I'm more comfortable with. Oh, is that right, Matt? Really? Because the whole skeptical project that appears under the smoke and mirrors of agnosticism and humility, as we saw from our debate, is actually a dogmatic perspective of rigid what can and cannot be and duplicity, right? Because Matt says, don't believe in anything that you can't empirically ground or justify. I asked Matt three or four basic questions about things that he believes in that are non-empirical and he could not justify or give an account for them. And in response, he says, it just is. I don't have to give an account for it. It just is. How many times did he say in the debate? It just is. Do you understand that in a debate that is losing, that is a completely baseless ad hoc loss. The very thing that you're grounding your position on you're saying just is now as an opponent in the debate i can reply by saying well god just is if you can be ad hoc i can be ad hoc i'm not making that argument i'm not saying god just is i'm illustrating the point okay all the idiot atheists in that debate thought i was saying that god just is i'm illustrating that you can't make an ad hoc argument dude uh, these people are like Atheism is a mental illness. It's like a mental illness. It really is. I mean, they, they think that theism is a mental illness. Do the very thing that out of your mouth you say you can't do within like a minute. Jordan was was like pure weak sauce, dude, for like the first hour, dude. It was weak sauce. Sweet. And it, it was... But the, Matt's arguments are so bad that Jordan's like little kind of pimp slap was enough to just end this debate cells but this is not a statement about i mean the audience the is the audience even laughing at this point because that was literally the stupidest appeal i've ever heard in a debate now i take that back t-jump t-junk t-dump t-dump mark brahman nobody will ever top those two uh, and and the kurgan uh, for dumbest arguments of all time. But this one is in the top 10. Remember this, right? Jordan asks a great question. Why do you think you have value? Literally Matt's argument, Matt's reply is because I'm descended from beings. By the way, remember, he said that there's not a basis to believe in consciousness. Here he is appealing to conscious beings that he descended from. He's already contradicted himself like 10 times in this debate. 
And he literally says, because they thought they had value. Dude, wow. <laughs> this is what we get, right? When we have people who have no knowledge of philosophy at all, thinking they're making arguments, appealing to the dumbest shit imaginable to prove their argument. And who actually thought that was a good argument in the audience, right? Do the monkeys in the audience think that's a good argument? This is not a statement about intrinsic value. I, I don't know. Yes. Well, what? <laughs> Dude, he just asked, why do you think you have value? You said because monkey think it have value. And then you said, this is not a thing about intrinsic value. Dude, why is anybody listening to these people? I can't imagine believing that this is a good argument. Yes, the thing no, is, no, it, I don't even know, like, what fallacy do we class that under? This, this is such a dumb argument. Like, I'm having, like, my mind is in a twist. I can't even, I can't, like, I'm mystified. I feel like I'm in Jordan's trip from earlier trying to figure out what fallacy is this? I have value because I come from a line of monkey that think it have value. I don't even know what fallacy this is. Monkey fallacy. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it just a version of a circular appeal? Uh, it's, well, it's begging the question, first of all, because number one, dude, this is just so like, all, like I'm getting mad. <laughs> I'm getting mad because I. This, sometimes arguments are so bad and so dumb they don't even fit into a classification, right? It's like this argument is almost like I'm happy. Why do you think that such and such? Because I'm happy. Like <clears throat> what? <laughs> I, I, it is a non sequitur, but I mean, remember from Matt's perspective. There's not conscious agents. There's no reason to believe in consciousness. There are agents. We shouldn't believe in anything non-empirical. I'm sorry, but his descendants are not empirical. His descendants as conscious agents are definitely not empirical. Consciousness isn't empirical. Value that his ancestors had is not empirical. I mean, on about 10 different levels and layers, dude, this is the dumbest argument in the top 10. It's not the dumbest argument ever. You'll never beat T-Dump and uh, Mark Brom. Is because irrespective of whether or not I care about well-being, there are facts about well-being. Sure, let's hear them, man. Line there, those suckers up. If you chop off my head, it's in contradiction to my well-being. Oh my gosh. So my, my well-being is based on the fact that I come from monkey with well-being that think it have well-being. It's not good for me to have my head chopped off because it's contrary to my well-being, which is defined by what is good for my well-being. I mean, dude, this is, I take that back. This is reality is reality, bro. This is reality is reality level argument. I mean that, that's, but the, the when you when you actually boil through uh, Matt's smoke and mirror talking rhetoric, it's that it's reality is reality, bro. I wasn't willing to grant that actually. Okay, good. I'm thank you, that's Jordan. a metaphysical presupposition. You're just saying I have to accept. Yes, it. thank you. Yes, this. Thank you, Jordan. That's a metaphysical presupposition. I'm not going to grant it to you. So he has called out Matt. Matt's monkey fallacy that no like, i'm not i'm not telling you at you, all what to accept sure you are you're saying I'm that trying you're... here here matt is being dishonest disingenuous uh matt you are making an argument and then turning around saying i'm not making an argument i'm not telling you what you should or should not accept uh he asked you for an explanation of morals and ethics you have said we ought to accept this secular ethical theory because you're afraid of it, Jordan, because you're going to lose your Christian presuppositions. There's nothing to fear. Let me sell you this. Now Matt is bullshitting and saying he's not selling you something. This is the game they play. Yeah, I'm wrong. trying to explain what my position is. 
Okay. Well, because you think it's true, dummy. But but you said that that wouldn't be in accordance with your well-being. Correct. Okay, that's a metaphysical statement. Yes, Real thank you. Ah, oh, finally. Jordan makes a, a, a heavy hitting home run argument. It's it's the only one in the debate, by the way. So uh, this is it. This is all there is. It's a statement. It's not an obvious fact. That That's chopping off somebody's fact. head is contrary to their well-being. Matt is just appealing to the thing that's in question. Right? No justification. Matt doesn't understand what a justification is. And you go to the debate that I have with him and you can see that. He doesn't. He's lost. Right? When you ask for a justification, it just is. Right? Here, he's cornered. It just is. It's contrary to my well-being. Why? Because it's not good to have my head cut off. Why? Because it's contrary to my well-being. Why? Because it's not good. You just got got, bro. It depends on how you define well-being. Sure. Yeah, but it matters. But if you define well-being... Yeah, sure. <laughs> exactly. ...is this glass of water, we're no longer talking about the same thing. Well, you can... <laughs> Jordan asks him how he defines well-being. Matt says, well, if you define well-being as a glass of water, we're not talking about the same thing. What? Define well-being. That's fine. That's what I'm waiting for. This is so. This is what I'm. Well, it's, you can't do it. You can't. Exactly. Matt is cornered. Define well-being. Well, then very, why very should I try? Certainly can't do it if you keep telling me I can't do okay. it. Okay. I don't know. There he goes. Right. This anytime, uh, uh, especially the atheists, when they're cornered and they don't have a response, they do the thing where they call you out and say, "Well, you won't let me talk. Uh, you won't let me explain. Uh, you won't. No, no. We're not letting you bullshit. We're not letting you filibuster." We're not letting you go on the red herring. We're not letting you deflect. You can't leave this point because we got you, brah. You got got, right? And now Matt's getting frustrated and he's saying, you won't let me talk. Sorry, okay, I'll back off. I'll back off. There's a, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. Now, so I don't remember what Matt does because I haven't heard this in a year. I can bet you dollars to the donuts that Matt really likes. The many, many donuts, that, the dollars to the donuts that are in Matt's pocket that he asked me about. It wasn't really dollars. It was a bunch of donuts in that pocket, right? Uh, at this point in the debate, Matt will deflect. If it's, that's, not, that's not necessarily the If case, we're looking for the best it. things about our life, you yeah. can't say death is better. <laughs> yes, you can. That's the point, right? Because there is no better or worse. That's the question. What is the standard by which you know the good from the bad, the better from the best, the better from the worst, the preferable from the non-preferable? That's the question. Matt never answers it. He just filibusters, deflects, and circular appeal, non-secular to the grave. Right. Yeah, you can. Well, I, I know that you can say People it. People do all the time. They do. No, look. look they can I'm express their preference, but this. their preference can be wrong. How can it possibly? Now Matt's appealing to right and wrong. Their preferences can be wrong. So Jordan's saying, well, some people commit suicide. Uh, maybe that's the right way to go. And Matt says, well, some people can be wrong. Maybe they're they're wrong in what they're doing. Matt, that's the thing in question, dude. Be better for your. What is the standard of wrong and better? when you just admitted five minutes ago that it's subjective. Life, if you're dead. Matt, we know you think that it's better to be alive. Jordan is asking you why. And you're saying because it's better to be alive. So this is the point that I was getting to. I am perfectly fine with the idea that for certain instances, there may be occasions that death is preferable to an individual over life. But when we're speaking in broader terms, if we're talking about let's create the best society we can, let's create the best. Matt, what is best? What is the standard of better and best? He says well-being. What is well-being? Well, it's not intrinsic value. What is it? Quality of life we can for people. It's subjective, but it's not intrinsic value. Death is not that across the board. It, that doesn't. What, uh, why, Matt? That there aren't individual exceptions so the foundations that i that i started with you can start with death is better so the again I, I think we've had enough you see that this is the best point of the debate we've all, almost four hours and we're going to do the super chats but th really this is where matt lost and matt doesn't even know he lost that's the sad point here and and and, and in our debate it's an even higher level critique that he didn't even know what was going on like, no idea what justifying a claim is. No idea what David Hume taught. No idea that David Hume is refuting him. 
when I said, have you read David Hume? He thought I was appealing to an authority when I was referring to the arguments David Hume makes. All right. So, I mean, Matt is like in another world of, you know, I don't know. But uh, in the end, we will have to give the W here to Dr. Peterson. Why? Punky. I just told you. That's why we can't get anywhere in this discussion. It's a big circle. Divinity raises the humanity of Christ through theosis. And that's exactly what we experience.